Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can obtain Bruce, a mount from the Brawler's Guild in patch 8.1.5 of BFA. Now, unlike the other Brawler's Guild mounts, you actually have to do a quest chain as opposed to just getting rank 8. So, do some rank 1 brawls, ease your way in. Upon ending some of these brawls at random, it will trigger a quest behind you where the Quartermaster will have been murdered. So, this will send you on a whole quest chain to discover the murderer. If you want to experience that, you're welcome to do so yourself. The purpose of this video is more to cover the technical side of the quest chain. So to start with, it's going to ask you to win 100 Brawler's Gold betting on matches. But you have to actually buy this item here for 100 Brawler's Gold. You get Brawler's Gold by winning matches. It's pretty easy to get, to be honest. Now give this item to the gnome. This will enable betting for 30 minutes. So at the start of other players' fights, you can now bet on the player or the monster, whoever's going to win. The more fights that you guess correctly, the more bigger the multiplier you get bigger multiplier you get the quicker you're going to earn that 100 brawler's gold it's very easy and once you've done that your next quest will be to lose a fight on purpose so i think it's just a bit of a pun to throw off the fights for people other people betting it just just join up lose a fight essentially if people throw you into a rumble you can do it that way and then you're going to have to do a challenge card so you want to talk to the pandar in here and buy this challenge card a rank 4 boss called Lord Silifanel, something like that. I can't pronounce it. I can never pronounce these damn names. But he's a very easy fight. If you're melee and you have loads of interrupts or stuns, just use them to interrupt the casts. If you're a caster with a longer interrupt, you probably want to save it because he's going to do a, a cast you can't interrupt. You have to damage him down enough and then the barrier will disappear, making his cast interruptible. So save your interrupt for that. Otherwise, this is a very easy fight. You shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Once you've done this, you have to collect 100 shards. These shards are awarded in the bags at the end of doing the regular brawls, so they're very easy. Then you'll get a quest to get three bigger shards. You just do the multiplayer rumbles. Pretty straightforward. Then you'll be asked to get a challenge card for a fight called GG Engineering, Goblin and Gnome Engineering. This fight is pretty straightforward but can get a little bit overwhelming. You just want to make sure you're not standing in the red circles on the floor as they shoot missiles at you. They will teleport around the room underneath shield generators as well and they do have a shared health pool. So you see here they teleport under a shield generator. You want to nuke the shield generator down. And they're actually going to be doing most of the work for you because if you stack on top of one of them, so if you're a caster, try and nuke the shield generator when stacking on one. Don't do it from a range. This fight will take a long time. You want to make sure that you're stacking on them as you're taking out that shield. And then you see the incoming missiles. They will actually end up killing each other with their own missiles. So they're actually going to be doing a lot of the work for you. Pretty straightforward fight if you can get that down. For the next step, you just need to use some goggles they're going to give you during a fight. So enter a brawl, use these goggles, you will see a massive Yogg-Saron creature in the corner. Otherwise, do the fight as normal. It's just going to give you the annoying filter and cover up a portion of the arena floor, which will complicate things, but just stick with it. Luckily, I had this worm that just didn't really move from the middle. Next up, you want to save up at least 2,000 Brawler's Guild, because you need to access the VIP area of the Brawler's Guild. So... You have to spend 1,000 gold to, access to, uh, to buy a VIP ticket. Now stick with me here. You want to hand in the VIP ticket. This will let you go upstairs. You then want to talk to another quest giver who will send you around to do some errands. So for one of them, you want to talk to this gnome. You have to buy this bottle down here for 1,000 gold to have a drink. I mean, 1,000 is not the worst, but you are literally now just going to drink 1,000 gold away. <laughs> Then you want to head back down into the Brawl Pub and you want to talk to Alani, the typical card vendor that you got the initial item from. Go to page 2 and just next to the VIP ticket you'll see here a free drinks voucher, another 1000 Brawler's Gold. This is part of the quest, it will just give free drinks to anyone in the pub. Pretty crap to be honest, but um... Just part of the quest so you've got to save that up and then you want to go back to where you bought that original drink and then behind the well the gnome will be a little vendor who will sell the amber seed buns you can throw these on players as part of the quest so you want to wait till someone's in a brawl and then throw these on them but you have to hit them so it's probably usually better if you get a caster that doesn't like to move so on the second shot there that chamois was standing still managed to land the shot Hand your quest in. You'll then be sent to the trade district where you just have to place a banner down. Now this is where things will get a little annoying because you then have to return the quest back into the VIP lounge. If you get put into a different phase you'll have to buy the ticket again 
to get up there. Luckily for me, it put me back in the phase I had left, so I didn't have to purchase another ticket, but just a heads up. After that, you'll head to the court hearing in the middle of the Brawl Pub, where you have to determine the uh, the killer of the Quartermaster. Little RP slash cutscene event, so you might find this a bit of fun. Otherwise, you want to head to Neverstorm. I lost my footage for Neverstorm. I didn't record it properly, but you just want to go to Neverstorm, hand in another quest, head back to the Brawl Pub. You'll be given a random challenge card where you will find out someone is not who they seem. And when you find that out, you then have to fight an Ethereal. Ethereal? Very easy. Just avoid the big purple swirly thing on the ground when he tries to dash, interrupt his cast, just mitigate the incoming damage he doesn't actually have a rank on this boss he's just rank question mark and to be honest he's very easy i might have just outgeared him but he's really not as hard as you would expect especially for an ethereal or you know the last boss of the quest chain because after you've killed him there you go you get bruce so i'm not sure how i feel about it it was quite interesting to do little tie-ins and stuff as i progress through the brawlers guild so it's a bit more interesting than just hey it's a reward for hitting rank eight but the fights to get Bruce were very easy. I think that none of them were really that challenging. So a very long-winded quest chain, but ultimately a very easy one. So I hope the vid helped you. Be sure to subscribe for more guides and videos. All my links are down below, and I will see you in the next one.